composing gloves here and today we're answering a question a subscriber asked this was on the basics the beginner series basically he has this audio file and he wants to be able to split it up with regular silences just like this so let's say that he wants to split it up and then render it out so that uh, for for study reasons he's learning a language and so he likes to have a phrase right here and then I guess he says the phrase during the silent part and so if you actually split it like this and then hit control R and like save it and render it and whatever uh, it'll actually have this silence here so you can make the silences however big or small that you need but let's go ahead and dive into ex exactly how I am doing this so some basic things we're in the playlist so if you don't have that you hit F5 brings the playlist up you can hit this and you're going to drag your audio into here now when you're in here if you hold the left control and scroll your mouse wheel you will begin to zoom in and out horizontally wherever your mouse is at so extremely convenient way of navigating you can also hold down alt and scroll to scroll the tracks vertically if you're not holding down anything you just move up and down and if you hit the middle mouse button and move you will be panning your view. They call it visual panning. Okay, so that's basic navigation. Now, to cut a piece of audio, you need to have your cursor off of any event. What I mean by that is you see how there's audio here. This is an audio event. So basically, you can't be on a clip. So be in a blank area of the playlist and click the right shift. It has to be the right one. Click the right shift and you can bring up the cut tool without ever leaving the paint tool. And this is very handy because what we could do is we can come down here, click cut, and then just move. So very, very super handy. Now you might notice something. By the way, multiple undos is control alt Z. Uh, it's kind of a, a bit weird. Normally it's like control shift Z, but in FL Studio it's control alt Z is multiple undo. So you can very quickly make cuts, but you'll notice here that when I make my cut, it snaps to the grid. That's because of my snap setting. It's on cell. So right now it's gonna snap to wherever a line is at. So here's all the lines. So the nifty thing is if I zoom in here, so if I just go ahead and control scroll a bit, and then I do my shift, my right shift click off of the off of it and then zoom up, you get a bit more resolution. But let's say you want a lot more resolution, you can actually hold down alt. So if you hold down alt and then shift click you get all the precision that your current zoom level is. So what I mean by that is now you see we're not limited to we're not limited to where we're at. So you hold down alt first, then right shift, and then you can get like really precise um, zooming. And if you want to zoom even further, you can go into options and then in which one is it? Project. They have a pulse per quarter PPQ. This is the resolution of your playlist. So if you actually come in here and bounce this up to 960, uh, you'll be able to zoom in much, much further. It does take more processing, which is why I usually recommend working at a lower one. But when you're doing audio editing and stuff like this, it makes sense to bounce that all the way to the highest that it can go. So you can just zoom in super far in the playlist. So let's just go ahead and do some uh, do a quick example. So all this stuff's like intro music stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and lop that off. We don't really need that. Then let's say, okay, uh, so this gap will be rendered here or you could just get rid of it. It doesn't really matter. Let's just say that, okay, here's like the beginning of the phrase. And then we want to go over, I don't know why I asked for your file. I guess I don't technically need your file, but it just sort of helps so you could see it on your, on your file. Uh, but Basically, we're going to come over here and let's just say that we want to chop it right here, right before this looks like a kick or a snare or something. So we're going to go ahead and I want more precision. I want to cut it right before there. So I'm going to hit Alt and then Shift click off of the clip then drag onto it and just chop it. Now I can move it. Now the same rule applies for moving clips. So you see how it snaps to the to the cell because of our snap setting. If you don't want that, um, you can just hold Alt and you can whoops. You can hold the, so a nuance here. If you hold this alt, the right alt, it'll mute the clip when you click it. But if you hold the left alt, it will move it off the grid. So left alt to move it around off the grid. It becomes very, very fast. Now, the reason I recommend leaving your cell snap setting the same is let's just say that, hey, you want to make the silence the same amount every time. Well, you could just always move it by like one bar line and you'd have it perfectly snapped so it would be the same amount of silence, you know, every time or whatever. So that could be a, a pretty handy way of working. 
Um, but anyways, that's that. So let's go ahead and just do a couple. So let's just say, okay, here I want to make a, a, a click right here. So I'm going to do right alt, right shift, click. I know it seems confusing at first, but trust me, when you do a lot of this, you get so fast. It, it very quickly becomes a non-issue. And it's not. It's nice that they made it so that the alts do different things. So you get more uh, keyboard shortcuts out of one key hits instead of having like multiple combined shortcuts. So we we did our cut here. We're just gonna move it. We can move it off the grid a bit. And then let's just say, okay, we're good there. Let's just say our next cuts here, Alt, Shift, click, drag, move. Let's just say we wanna stay on the grid this time. Zoom in over here, Alt, Shift, click, move. Maybe move it off just a little bit more for some reason. And you can make these as long or as short as you want. And then all you do when you're all done is you can go to file and then export and then you can go to wave and I just hit control R because I'm fancy and I know about the shortcuts. So you hit control R, it's going to ask you to name your file, you name it and then you just bounce it out and it will indeed grab and put silence here. So there'll be silence now in those spots. And that is basic editing. Some of the shortcuts that you're gonna need to know, they are super convenient. I do them now without even thinking, they just happen. And then I know it can be confusing to follow sometimes because it's like, whoa, 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 what did he push to do that? Now I wanna show you one more, one more shortcut that's pretty empowering. You might find this workflow a little bit more to your liking. If you middle mouse click and then left click quickly like that, you get this menu here and you can actually switch between the tools here as well. So let's say that you don't want to use this like alt shift click drag uh, method. You could come in here and I could middle mouse click left quick quickly like that. Just bam. Let's come over here. Bam. And then we could select the cut tool. You could cut and then we could very quickly go back to the pencil tool and move it around. And that's a, that's a way I, I work when I don't have, when I have a lot of things going on and I don't really have much room and I don't wanna move things around, uh, you'll see me do stuff like this. I also believe if you hit C, it brings up the cut tool. So you can just hit C and then I forgot the one that goes back to uh, this. Oh, it's P. See, P is really far away and awkward. So I like using this more, but I'll use C to go to the cut because my hand's naturally over on this area of the keyboard already. So we can very quickly do that and then do that without having to move my hand all the way across the keyboard. But you could hit C and then hit P. Now you might be saying, but Alt and Shift are over there. Uh, for some reason, those ones don't bother me as much. They're very easy for me to just really quickly go over and locate. Maybe I've just done it a bunch, but you've got you've got options. You've got ways of doing this and um, and sort of selecting the two tools. But that was my that's my suggestion. I don't know if I totally understood exactly what you were going for, but you can very quickly divide things up. And I'm scared to play it. I didn't think about this when I asked for the file, but I'm scared to play it just because of copyright stuff. So I'm just not gonna play it. Um, but you can very quickly audition, make adjustments, move things around, super easy. If you have any questions about this, let me know, subscribe and have a blessed day.